If you were to only use one product. Any reason why you don't stock different types of seed? This is great. This is like a high quality podcasting. Maybe we need to make our own mini pill press. Maybe. Yep. <laughs> Best time to lay new turf. Spray or granule? Imagine having time to do a nature walk. Got my lawn hub hoodie yesterday. Bloody mint. The missus won't let me wear it in public. <laughs> You don't need PPE. Well, okay. What is the best product for crabgrass? Supporting small businesses and revenge are two very important things. You, you kids in your shorthand. All right, we've got some questions. Here Beautiful. we go. Uh, on the Instagram live, that this stuff better fix my lawn. Um, it's very likely that it will. It depends what's wrong with your lawn. Um, but um, if you've got specific concerns that you want help with, then we are here to help um the fixing of a lawn can have uh requirements beyond product correct and you might have some issues is that tinny you might have some issues with um something that's outside of that like sun shade um water water quality soil that kind of thing so but if, you, if you're not sure send us a message and jonesy will be able to help you Damo Mansfield, Mansfield two-part question, part one. Hey, fuckers. Hey, fucker. <laughs> part two, teeny Trojan making a comeback, question mark. Last time I inquired about it, it was it's pretty much similar to why mini pill wasn't available for so long. Um, the raw material was is the mini, sorry, the mini raw material is hard to come by. So we've got mini pill in stock at the moment. So mini pill is in my opinion, a better fertilizer than tiny Trojan, but... I would say a lot better. Yeah, um, because of the inputs in it, but um, tiny Trojan, yeah. The, the reason tiny Trojan came in was because mini pill wasn't available. Um, so we did those couple batches of tiny Trojan, uh, but then tiny Trojan's raw mini materials dried up and um, mini pills came back in. So, um, yeah, we're, we're, we're running with mini pill at the moment. Damo's follow-up question, this is his third, is Clint is my raw material. Nice. Oh, Damo, we will be together eventually. Eventually. Uh, there was a question here from Sharon. My lawn is yellow in patches. I used your fertilizer, but it's still yellow, question mark. If you've got any pictures that you're willing to send through, either send them through on our socials She's or... Message doesn't on the gram. Yeah. So. And we can we can definitely suss it out see what it is maybe um i know depending on where you are and your lawn variety um the disease has run ridden through so many lawns uh this this spring actually and i'm i was speaking to a gentleman in the store today he's had cooch might appear on his door early on his lawn so he's tackling that now so yeah there's a lot of lot of things that can be going on right now in our lawn so um yeah if you've got any photos send them through and we'll definitely check them out uh tiger on instagram do i really need a wedding agent wedding agent if you were to only use one product wedding agent would be my it's it's my favorite product in terms of what it does for the soil um but my favorite combination is wet and roots and shoots but yeah wet uh, any wedding agent is is better than none it's gonna have water distribute evenly throughout the soil. It's going to retain moisture in the soil and it's going to help with that hydrophobic soil. So it the, there's a lot more benefits to applying a wetting agent than there are um, not applying it. So dry patch as well prevents dry patch. So yes. Uh, we have a question from Daniel Pittman on f Facebook. Clint, have you mowed yet? No, I haven't, Daniel. Um, I was hoping to do something. I think I'm going to mow my front lawn this weekend at some point i haven't even checked my calendar i'm gonna have a, a a bad feeling that we have yep basketball at 9 30 and 11 45 kids birthday party at 1 30 baseball training at three and then dinner with friends at seven followed by an 8 a.m footy presentation sunday baseball 10 30 softball at 11 under eights football presentation at 11 15 Rockets training at one and then also baseball training at three and then four o'clock basketball training for my oldest on Sunday. Fuck me. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know if I'll be mowing my lawn. Um, we're probably going to mow the front this weekend if we can and then um, uh, Dylan and I have talked about filming in the backyard 
uh, maybe Wednesday or Tuesday, depending on how we go. We've got another season launch for Water Pro Thursday next week, followed by start a middle of the month barbecue here Friday. So it's going to be another week like that. Plus, we still sell a lot of fertilizer. A lot which, of fertilizer. Um, we probably need to hire some more staff for that as well. So um, I don't know. Stay tuned. Uh, Liam Doyle, hey boys from Queensland. I sprayed out my front lawn of wintergreen a few months ago. Had big plans of excavating 100 to 150 mil in prep for new sod. Life got in the way, and now I'm not so proud. I'm not. I'm a not so proud owner of 60 square meters of straight weeds. Now that I'm com- not combating a lawn, would I be able to till the soil and get away without excavating before the new sod goes down? Potentially, as long as you're happy with the existing soil, just keep in mind that this is the perfect opportunity for you to excavate that soil that you don't want, providing, you know, if it's not good soil. But if it is good soil, absolutely, you can just till it and put new lawn on top. Yeah, but just keep in mind that this is your perfect opportunity to have the best soil prep that you can possibly do. So just keep that in mind. Kira's going to come back in and fix your camera. Um, Nice. The next question is uh, from Clifford on YouTube. Will you only stock seed coming into winter? So I'm guessing this might be because seed wasn't available for a period. Is that the 5-0? Ah, it's, it's the ambulance. ambulance. I was going to say, uh, thankfully, neither of them coming in for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, I, seed, no, I, I think we ran out of seed for a little while. Or the, yeah. the website never went down, did it? Like we've, we've got it. So we do have seed in stock. Yeah. I know that because we bought white buckets for yeah. it, which gave me a minor aneurysm. Yeah. But... Um, we've got unless we've products. already sold all of those buckets, which if that's the case, that's incredible. So no, the answer is we will always stock seed all year round. Um, and if we've run out, it's because it's a low moving stock item. And yeah, no, it's still available on the website. Okay. So yeah, yeah. no. Uh, Jake Carter says hello, hello, hello. Any reason why you don't stock different types of seed? I agree, Jake. Um, and the answer to that reason would be time. Um there's only so much that we're able to get done but you're right one place for everything the blend that i used at the front of my front yard i'd love to sell that yeah it's something that it's of it's definitely in the in the mind and in terms of time available like clint just said it's for a line that doesn't sell as much there's obviously a focus elsewhere throughout the week but there is obviously heading into um autumn where it's going to be a perfect time for a lot of us to lay these cool season seeds um, and lawn varieties. Um, yeah, I want to I want to stock a bent seed so people can do their home home putting greens should they wish to. Um, and then yeah, the mix Clint's got. Um, obviously, we've got our perennial ryegrass, which is um, yeah available all the time. So there are yeah there are obviously more seed varieties that I want to um, sell, but it's just yeah the time getting the right label. Then printing the labels, yeah, <laughs> getting the buckets, yeah, it's, oh, it's the regulars are fucking all jumped on. Yeah, board. they are. <laughs> I got Sith and um, Nisbet Smith and Mister Mumbles and Nate Extreme all jumping it on at the same time. So hopefully the later start time is a benefit to you. I'm I'm forgetting to mix the cameras, That's so you're right. gonna hear me talking and watch Jonesy playing with himself and vice versa. But we'll yep. get through it. Uh, Clifford uh, has also asked, does the smaller real size impact the cost or is it the inputs that's in the product that impacts the cost, obviously making mini pill more expensive? Both, both. So to make um, it, it, it's not as simple as crushing big granules, um, which <laughs> it's, it's both. So the raw, the raw material is obviously available as a normal, I suppose, fertilizer is a larger pill size. So you're, 220 SGN, which is your nor, I suppose your normal um, turf fertilizer, and then you can go upwards for that um, for crop and and further on, blah blah blah. Um, when it comes to the the mini stuff, it is a special. It's like it's a, it's a targeted specialist area. So your golf greens, your golf courses, your tennis courts, so on and so forth. So the demand for that is much smaller than that of your normal. Um, prill size so um, yeah and in order to make it so when we inquired about um, purchasing mini pill direct from um, or it it comes from America because there's no um, there is no mini manufacturer that we're aware of in Australia that can make mini pill there may be mini blenders but there may not be there's that, that I can find that can make mini pill with 
ingredients made and manufactured here in Australia. So it comes from the US. Um, and when we inquired, we found that the US, the main area in the US that was producing mini material was on strike. So um, no one, no one around the world had access to a lot of it. So, um, which made a lot of sense because you inquire to everyone like, no, we don't have it. No, we don't have it. No, we don't have it. And then you go straight to the source and it's like, oh no, no, they just, it's not that they didn't want to sell to us. It's that um, they couldn't get it. So yeah, it's both. I'll put the camera back on myself and then I'll start talking. This is great. This is like um, high quality podcasting. <laughs> I think we're doing okay. I think we're going okay. Uh, there's a lot of shit here from the regulars giving each other shit in the comments. Uh, Lonro versus Duke, who wins? Exactly the same. Uh, so it's a tie. 28, 28, 28, 28, 28, 28. Yeah. Yep. No, it's, it's just the price at the end of the is day. Is Duke cheaper? Uh, Duke's a little bit more expensive. Yep. Um, why, why we stock Duke? We stock stock Duke because that was the one that was available to us at the time. Yep. Um, and Lonro, yeah, I, I can definitely inquire, but we sell we sell Duke when we recommend it, so it's yep. not like you know. So. All good. Um, Mandurang wanted to know: Did you get much golf in Jonesy? Uh, I played, I think, f- six rounds while I was on holidays. And five and a half of those rounds were absolute garbage. So your dad um, told me to ask you about. Yeah, it was fuck, man. I yeah. Well, yesterday was Are You Okay Day, right? Ah, uh, shit. I didn't ask anyone. I'm well, so I, selfish. Well, doesn't matter. Like, I, <laughs> it's everyone's journey and story is different. Not everyone needs to know about everyone's journey. Um, but anyway, um, I was feeling like that. Are you okay? Because that's how bad I was playing at golf. So. You, where's your um yeah. the, your little mics there? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah. So Clifford was asking about the seed before. He said, "Bugger, I got stuck stock from elsewhere after Adam convinced me to sow a ryegrass front lawn." So I'm guessing we didn't have it for a, a moment when someone was Master. trying to buy it. Uh, <laughs> chance of a mega trojan, e.g., same inputs <laughs> as mini pill, but trojan size for those not needing smaller. So you mean a pill? Mm. You just want pill. Um, we could probably get it. it. The only thing it would be, you wouldn't get five kilos of it. That's the only trouble. Yeah. You'd get probably three. We wouldn't f- be able to fit it in yeah, there because the density. bulk density. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there was another question here from Bearded Sith saying, why not just put BBW pre-blended with Trojan? Because we don't have a blender. Like we don't have a blending machine. What are you like, thinking? As in like get it to stick it to it? No, nah, like... Blend in Trojan with BBW and make a big Yeah, but then it, you wouldn't be able to apply it well. Well, there's fertilizers with wetting agent, but you're right. Yeah. And we've always said it. It's better in our opinion if you're applying a wetting agent, you apply a wetting agent, mm. especially a granule because you can control it a lot better and you can get, you know, the actual application rate because the Trojan's two and a half kilos per 100 squares and BBW is 1.5. If you weigh it out, you know, in a on a scale it's going to be very difficult so and it for most of us doesn't take that much longer anyway to apply but yeah (laughs) daniel Pittman, maybe we need to make our own mini pill press maybe (laughs) yeah do you understand what he's talking about yes fully aware yeah that's right i forgot you're from gaula northern oh hang on no no So I actually have a soundboard but not my soundboard. Um, for, so for those of you that are new to the show, I have a uh, soundboard yeah. addiction. I can see barely. <laughs> <laughs> we need some milk. <laughs> I did that the other day. Um, so one of the um, big supermarket chains that um, complains about profits all the time and rapes the society with the duopoly um, has these collector cards at the moment. <laughs> you got to mute that chat, bro. Um and I said, I need some milk. And then Lucy thought I was actually going to go do a, um, a milk order. Am I on screen or are you on screen? Probably should put me on screen while you're dealing with that. Now my phone's ringing. Fuck, how do I do this? Um, and she's, she thought I was going to get some milk from um, from Woolworths and got all upset because she wasn't going to get the collector cards. I was like, I was just joking. Uh, how many regulars does it take to make a podcast? Uh, you know, our podcast, six. 
Gula High Math coming through real strong, Adam. Oh, I think Clifford's Clifford. I'm actually pretty good. Becoming a, um, I'm pretty good at maths. Casey Mears, how's Party Hole Senior doing? I didn't get to see him today, but he has been back working two days a week. Yep. Um, volunteering. It's like, um, I don't know, protect a senior bullshit. I don't know. We, we have him here. It means he's not wandering the street flashing women. And That's right. Um, you know, it's what's we've got Kira sending me stuff. Oh, we've got questions. Like, fuck, we have so many questions. All right, we're, we're going to try and punch through as many questions as we can because we have a lot and we yeah. don't have a lot of time. So We're going to get in the truck. Uh, oh, you've got to go pick up fertilizer. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> uh, all right, let's do some like 20 and 20. Uh, best time to lay new turf from Luke Eck. Bet Luke the K. most best time in ever is like now in springtime, but you can apply, you can lay lawn whenever. But best time is now. Best time to seed. Uh, depends. If it's a warm season variety, we're still a little bit away. You want the soil temps to be consistently warm and then you want the daytime temps to be consistently warm um, for the germination of uh, warm season seed like um, Cooch and Kaiku and Zoysia. Um, but for cool season green, uh, for cool season turf, um, heading into autumn um, would be your best best time. A question from Martin3979 on Instagram. Did you send me a shirt with my shit? I don't know. I don't know. We might, a Did lot happens, Martin. Can you be yeah. more specific? Yeah. Sometimes we if offer you, stuff for free yeah. and we forget to do it. Or sometimes people just ask, expect... Sorry, so I'll put the camera back on me. Hi. Sometimes people just ask expecting it and then we don't give it to if them. If you ordered one, 100%. Because... Um, there was a bit of shirt gate yeah, yesterday. Yeah, there was a bit of shirt gate yesterday. <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, bloody Isaac. Fuck the pill. Did you send me my shirt with my order? Okay, Martin. Mm. I don't understand yeah. why you're so angry about it. Yeah. But Not um, sure there. What, uh, to just give us some context on um, did we offer to send you a shirt? Did you order a shirt? Can you DM us your hub number, etc.? cetera? Uh, Michael119 on Instagram. Spray or granule? That's for you. Spray or granule what? As in liquid fertilizer or granular fertilizer? Granule fertilizer is good to use as your base. So during the warmer season, it'll feed for longer. So you're eight to 12 weeks, depending on the, you know, the soil, the climate, etc. And then I like to introduce liquids during the summer period or the warmer period uh, as part of a maintenance, more of a top up. So for example, mini peel, Trojan, got laid, Prem, whatever your choice of granule fertilizer is, you apply that every eight to ten weeks, so that's your core in the soil, so continuous feeding. And then something like three-way every four to six weeks, which will also help uh, with other things that Trojan and the other fertilisers don't necessarily offer, and then roots and shoots as well, and then, yeah, introducing a wetting agent all as part of a program. So I suppose in summary, uh, granule as your, as your base and then top up with your liquids during the growing season. The regulars are having a field day. Of course they are. Mr. Mum, uh, Breed at CS, I was expecting a personal message at 2.30 advising of the delay. It got nothing. Um, I think we did a post about yeah, it. Yeah, we I'm did. I'm sorry. Our um, free podcast isn't <laughs> available for you on time, you fuckers. And we're busy. But All right. we're still here. We could have just pulled the pin, but we're not. I have multiple platforms that questions are being fired at me. I feel like one of those. Jesus, um, doesn't it all come into one? Uh, uh, Instagram's open here. Then I've got Restream, which is catching Facebook. And I don't know if they use this Instagram when they're um, okay. when they're, when the team are doing it. Uh, but we have some questions that have come through on the chat on Instagram, which is the ones that should get the most attention. But um, Tiger, which was a question we had before. Why can't your bottles say X mil per one square meter? I'm too stupid for this. You want it per square meter rather than per hundred. You can you can do the equation to, to just drop off a couple of zeros to convert it back. It just depends on the product, but the formulation, like the formula, will still be the same formulation. You tell what I got on my mind, bloody hell. I think we should. Um, we can probably do a better job of having that literature available online. Yeah. Um, we're continuously improving stuff. We've got the team f filming how we pack orders so that the new new staff can see how to pack orders well, so that you get more of a consistent. In in the weekly cut last week. There was a formula on how to convert um, granules to your specific area, so square meter and liquid. I just can't remember. It's been a long week. But um, say, for example, if it's – and 
I've I've done it, so it's so easy, and hopefully not being able to mix up. I did have a couple of people message me saying that's not how you do it, but you still got the same answer. I did that because it's it's a lot quicker. So for example, Trojan is two point five kilos per one hundred squares. So as a round number, two point five is twenty five, and then you times that by your square meters. So if it's twenty five times 60 because you've got 60 square meters that's going to give you how many grams you need for your for your area of lawn and then for example um for a liquid if it's say 15 mils per 100 square meters it's 0.15 because it's not a round number it's 0.15 times by your square meters equals the amount of mils that you need for your area um a message just popped up from the tool shed i'm not sure if you, hey if you're aware that um he sent me an email and I haven't responded to it yet. Yeah. I'm very sorry. Um, I don't even know what I promised you. It was about a grey water system. But the more time that goes by, the better it's going to be because I'll get more and more guilty and then I'll eventually just give you heaps of stuff to try and, hey, maybe. I think I think it had to do something with the grey water system. This is I'm starting to feel like um, a parent that doesn't do enough for their children and they're just trying to mm. buy their stuff. <laughs> anyway, Um so uh, honest answer to does Clint reply to emails? Clint replies to emails within 7 to 15 days. Business days. Most of the time. Mm. Business days. Business. Business. See, where's my... Business. <sighs> uh, Martin, yeah, you said as my order took a little longer to send out. So can you DM me your hub number? We'll have that information somewhere. If we said that, we will send you a shirt. Um it's not something that I have seen been promised and I'm in the chat pretty heavily. But if we said it, we will do it. Uh, what do we got here? Hey, Clint, this is from Jensen Cremor. I can't see it. It's very small on my screen. What does your side quest assistant get paid? Can I do it remotely from fucking Queensland? Uh, I don't know. We haven't really thought that far ahead. I think a side quest. Depends how good need, the side quest assistant mm, was. It didn't need to. I think there'd be times where it need to be here, though. Oh, you, the, you, I haven't. I was going to get to that next. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, I'm going to say between sixty and a hundred and eighty thousand dollars a year, and no. Yeah. And people might look at that and be like, "Man, he's joking." A good side quest is making the business a lot more than a hundred and eighty thousand hmm. dollars a year. Um. Yeah, that's that's the top end. <laughs> that's yeah. the top end of it. Um, but a good side quest might also work eighty hours a week. Yeah. Uh, how long before spraying NSFW can I mow? Four days. What well on. I'm a turf guy. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking of turf guys, I saw uh, Rowan Damon just jumped on the live for Did a he? second there. So he snuck no, in, he snuck in, and be snuck out. Here? He might still be watching. He keeps declining my offer to have him on as a guest. He said that um, he doesn't like you. That's okay. That's no, fine. that's not what he said. He said, just get Nathan to do it. Nathan said he would do it. We just have to organise it. Nathan's Nathan Bennett from the Royal Adelaide Golf Club. Yeah. They Ooh. just did a full course renovation. If um, Oh, you saw Pleaky last night, didn't you? Did you yeah, talk to him? Uh, no. <laughs> In and out. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, those of you on Facebook, which obviously some of you may be, obviously, if you're watching this, but... And Instagram, uh, look up Royal Adelaide Golf Course uh, on Facebook and <laughs> I think it goes to their Greens page. Is it their Greens maintenance page as well? They've got a Royal Adelaide Greens page, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, I don't know how to paste that somewhere. They, uh, yeah, they put up some footage last week of their full course renovation, which I thought was actually, it's, it's quite impressive watching that on such a large scale. Um, but, yeah, 100% would be nice to have Nathan come on and talk about how and, and what they do, um, obviously, on the – on Royal Adelaide, yeah, there you go. That top one, wasn't it? That's about a nature walk. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Losing it. It's been a big week. <laughs> uh, imagine having time to do a fucking nature walk. I don't know, fly over Friday and some drone footage. I think it's there on there. Yeah. What, that's it there? That's part of That's some of it. That's yeah. some of it. So I can uh, link that up in the restream for everyone to go have a look and leave this platform to go look at other shit all right what about a main quester 300k a day a week yeah that's what we're going to do 300,000 and a day a week that day just happens to last for 85 hours but um mm -hmm. 
You will love it. Bearded Sith, NDIS. Jonesy needs a whiteboard for his maths lesson. Yeah. When we move to the new place, Jonesy will get all the fucking tools. He'll have a whiteboard, have like a, what are those tables that Matt keeps talking about where you can like throw Oh, they had them in, on the in Jurassic World. Shit. Yeah. Throw, throw dinosaurs up on the screen. Yeah. Nate Extreme said he's keen to be the side quester, but he'll need to do it for 200 grand and he can only work 25 hours a week. Seems reasonable. Wow. Sorry that the screen is not on the person talking at the right times. Um, I'm obviously trying to mix this live. Uh, and do multiple things at once. Daniel Pittman, Nick Clarkson, porn star. Got my Lawn Hub hoodie yesterday. Bloody mint. The missus won't let me wear it in public. Uh, that sounds like it's time to reevaluate your choices of partner because if she doesn't let you be the person that you want to be, then you deserve better. Not financial advice. Not financial advice. <laughs> uh, what else have we got here? Cheat sheet on the web. Yep, we could probably do that. You could probably just Google that kind of shit if you wanted to. Clint, I'm still waiting for my merch bucket. Fuck. Jonesy, can you – is that on Jonesy's list? No. Okay. Uh, Grey water. Because I remember we were talking about the merch bucket and I, I don't I, – I can't remember the entire detail. I think Nathan me. came up with an idea of making a merch bucket. And then we just sell that for like forty nine ninety five or something. You get a shirt, a stubby holder. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, but can you be fucked? Oh, it. it <laughs> the thing is that you know it. Yeah. Anyway, I've spoken about merch and stuff before. It's not. It's not our core business. It's very hard to find. Um, the thing is, you got to buy like four million shirts for them to be cheap enough for people to want to buy them. That's a, that's a trouble. And if we buy 4 million shirts, we will sell 4 million shirts. Um, there was a question here from Ty Sierno. Recommended your gear to a bloke looking at some rubbish at Bunnings the Savo. <laughs> Safe to say he'll be putting in an order soon. Beautiful. That is music to my fucking ears. I love that shit. Um, well, I, we had a customer in the shop today um, come to buy some Celeprin after the what he read on Facebook, which was half of the weekly cut. Um, Dylan informed me that Facebook only allows a certain amount of characters. So those of you that were on the weekly cut got a whole lot more information and bonus tips with the Celeprin than what people got on Facebook. Well, they take um, your weekly cut and then put it on Facebook. Yeah. As a What's as the character limit on Facebook? 10,000 or something? I don't know. I can't it's remember. big. The weekly cut was pretty big last week because yeah, it had okay. lots of bonus tips So the on size it. of the weekly cut is right. how they read it. And uh, anyway, yeah, because like by Fenthrin, which is in a lot of – <clears throat> grub killers by Fenthrin doesn't touch the grub so and he wasn't aware of that because of the pictures at the hardware store <gasps> um that's how my kids talk yeah were misleading so um no it was good good to uh and then I oh, that's right then he told the, <laughs> the dude that was buying it don't buy it because it's not going to do what what it says so the um I got a comment here from um where the fuck did it go? Uh, Nate, Nate Extreme saying, Lawn Hub hard hats would sell well on a merch <laughs> store after the recent advertising. Fucking hell, man. Have you, you've been on the Facebook comments yeah, lately. I don't, I don't go in there as much as I used to. Ridiculous, Every now man. and then I go home and just get fucking lit and just mm. sit in there and just respond to it's, people with stupid comments. I haven't I haven't been on there today, but yes, like just whole week, man, like people just need to come fuck down, honestly. <laughs> like it's obviously a skit, like just fuck. And then... My favourite are the boomers that say, like, you don't need PPE. Well, okay. And then, you know, 10 years later down the track, there's a fucking case in the news yeah. and everyone's whinging. I was you know. showering in Ancient Orange and now yes. I'm wondering why I'm shaking when I eat. <sighs> the Nathan Skaysbrook has a serious comment. It was a giveaway idea. Also, as you guys want to give stuff away, I can guarantee you that people oh, who yeah. don't win a major prize would love a token merch bucket. Yeah. No, yeah, I, it's, I it's remember a good idea. Yeah. We're shit. We need side questers. Uh, we need fucking more hours in the day, to be honest. That'd be nice. The, I'm, I'm happy to work 24 hours as long as I get 12 rest. <laughs> <laughs> we could probably work something out. Uh, can you? Can we maybe do it as a you work eight months straight and then have four months off? Yeah, that could work. The You know what's funny though? You would have your fucking four months off and I'll be like, hey, I need you to come back. Yeah, and then I'll get FOMO again and <laughs> I just want to come back because... Yeah, um, uh, this new warehouse I'm fucking keen for because yeah, it's obviously close to home. Yeah, well, n not some. I don't care about Selfish, that. It, okay. It's just getting tight out there, and I know how tight it's going to be once the sun comes out in South Australia, and then people go, you know, that order that I was having held for you know 
six months. I need it now. And then Jared and the team are packing massive um, water pro orders and there's lawn hub orders and I just know what it's going to be like. But we need to work as a team, which we're doing, which we is really good. had a polypipe situation at yes. the moment. Um, yes. No, uh, low density 19 mil poly is the new toilet paper. Yep. Um, there's a chance we'll run out for a little bit between now and maybe Wednesday. Um, and I expect that you might see hardware shops struggle a bit as well um, based on what I know about the market. Yeah. So if you need 19 mil poly, rush out and buy it now and cause fucking panic. And then sell it on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> That's where Jared's selling yeah. all of his stuff. Uh, David Giddens is doing some uh, website trawling and said the website says Lawn Hub Black Jumper when it's an actual hoodie, question mark. That's probably something that needs to be rectified. He also, said, also says the Lawn Hub Trucker hat on the main page says it's a Lawn Hub Trucker hat below. Um, I'm guessing you're looking for Jones's yeah. um, Easter eggs. but The just – and we're always transparent, but the the wording of things do change quite frequently. Some of it's SEO, SEO driven, yeah. yeah. So it's not – it might not necessarily be us, but – Whose car is that? Uh, Katrina. Huh. She works to four, doesn't she? Yeah. Leaving at 408, that's how we fucking yeah. like to see it. Um, Sorry. Yeah, so those things are SEO driven, but the Easter egg is not SEO driven. Oh, I, it, mm, no more quote, but mm, that. <laughs> what was that? Mm, Lawn have that's all I'm saying on that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so Daniel Pittman, I think Daniel Pittman is offering to help. No, Nathan said, I'm putting my hand up to help. Call me. Um, as, as in, you're a merch bucket specialist? Because if you're a merch bucket specialist, uh, I'm interested to understand how that works. Yeah, and especially if you can get access to AS Color shirts, Clint will buy your whole bloody. <laughs> <laughs> I wear, I do wear a few AS <laughs> Color Two XL black, um, but I'm open to new shirts. I had I wore an Aussie Spirit the other day just to test the fit and the cut and stuff. And fucking Elmy promised to buy me some Fat Man black shirts, and he never got, he never came through. You know, there's people and there's people that do. You know, there's talkers and there's walkers and yeah. Uh, Ian Henderson, thanks for the great advice the other day when I came in about an irrigation system. I'm assuming you're not talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that was me. Um, and if it was, you were probably the only customer I've served in the last two years. Uh, now that I think of it, how'd you boys go with the timber lathe? I'm the bloke that sold it to Adam. Timber lathe. Wrong pod? I'm sorry. I have... There's Maybe Adam Mudge. It sounds like the kind of shit Mudge would buy and stick it in his shed and not use it. Yeah, I. If it's me, I'd I apologize, but that conversation is not in my memory bank at the moment. Okay. Sorry. Uh, Tim, oh, Tim. I remember Simon was talking <laughs> about a, a lathe. That won't surprise me. That fucking bloke. <laughs> All right, you can keep thinking about that and I'll try to carry on with the podcast because we do have a bit of a hard time finishing line on this. Finishing line? (laughs) Yeah. Nathan Skaysbrook, serious note, I missed Are You OK Day also. Look up Team Alpha. um, On the Are You OK Day, I think it's a great thing for people to do. Um, and to have a day that's a reminder for people that maybe aren't as comfortable having those conversations. But um, I try to be conscious of it all the time. Mm. And we do a lot of um, – we've got support um, mechanisms in place for, for the team. But also I guess my emotional intelligence is different to a lot of others. I can kind of tell um, and I'll check in. So I think it's important to go um, – to be asking that question um, – with meaning as as required more than just once a week, uh, once a year. And I understand that that's that's not the plan. But um, Daniel Pittman, anyone getting mushrooms? I've got a guy but he keeps falling through, man. Like all I want is a couple of bags but oh, he might be talking about in their lawn. I believe so but. Oh, we just lost TikTok. <laughs> oh, where are you? You're over there. Uh, what is it? What is it? What is it? Uh, Lachlan. Elfix says, I'll pack orders for free if Clint supplies me jet fuel beers the entire time. <laughs> Jesus. There's a few. They're not, the they're f- not even all out of their the boxes fridge, yet. It's so funny. I've got so much beer at the moment. There's two four packs of range sitting on the top of the fridge. The fridge is full and there's another box of like, these actually. Um, am I on screen? Yep. Uh, 
Range Fever Dream IPA. It's only 6.5%, which I know sounds stupid coming out of the mouth of a human being, but um, the it's a really, really, really stand-up IPA for that for that thing. So I bought 32 of them. I was drunk one night. I said that today. Actually, I got a message from Australia Post today saying your parcel is due between 9.30 and 11.50. I was like, huh. That's uh, that's drunk Clint ordering sober Clint surprise beers and I forget about it. <laughs> and then the beers. Was it beers or was it Vista know. Print again? Because Vista oh, Print came, that's Vista Print came in like shit. eight different boxes this time. <sighs> so it's not beer. Okay, it might be. It might be there. No, nah, that makes sense because I don't remember ordering beer, so that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> well, just because don't remember ordering it doesn't mean it's not going to rock up. No shit. Nathan Scaresbrook, I'm guessing you posted this live so you're happy for me to share it. He said he's off work to, due to anxiety and panic attacks and long COVID so he can surely relate to the struggles. Mm. I fucking feel for you, man. Um, yeah, we were talking about anxiety the other day, weren't we? It's a motherfucker. It is. I, I've got to a point now where I'm like, all right, bring it on, motherfucker. Like, mm. If I have anxiety, I'm like, well, let's go. Because mm. I know I'm not going to die. So yeah. I, just, I just sit with it and just be like, well, this is chest pains for four hours, six yeah. hours or whatever. Um with the long COVID, um, this is not medical advice in any way, but um, I would suggest you, if you are interested to try and find a solution that might not be mainstream, look at fasting. Um, and I'm talking for a long time, like 10 days. Um, Ervo did a 10-day water fast in Thailand three months ago, four months ago. Uh, May. May. Yeah, yeah, and he was suffering from dizziness and inner ear they weren't sure what it was and he came back a new man a one of the moles on his back fell off so but again i'm not a doctor and we probably just lost youtube <laughs> <laughs> um yeah fuck that 45 minutes stuck in a full body cramp i've been there not that bad i've been on the floor like i, I don't my anxiety is funny i don't i can't sit still i have to i move around i've gone outside got in a swimming pool cold shower get in the sauna fucking take stuff that's meant to make you feel more calm than it yeah <laughs> so um but sometimes for me it's night time and then it, once the sun comes up it goes away it's really weird and obviously it displays differently for everyone but yeah um liam doyle after hours of trying to find your easter egg on your website without any luck i noticed your weed and feed pack on your site in the product faqs yeah. refers to nsfw as a competing herbicide yeah, possibly does, a cheeky yeah. little cut and paste job <laughs> no uh, yeah this is a been. shameless yeah. attempt for a hat slash roots and shoots <laughs> all right we'll get you something liam send me a dm um anyway we're going to draw the prize prizes 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 um so can we put your screen i oh, know what we need to do is can we put a Google random comment a number picker on your screen, or that's going to be yeah. too? Kira, if you're still here, she won't be here. She's no, gone. I think I think I just got to. How do I start. find what the last one was? So I'm going to go. To, so um, what I'll do, actually, what I'm going to do, Jonesy, I'll ask you a question. Yeah. So and then you answer that, and I'll I'll get all the numbers together. All right. Yeah. So what is the best product for crabgrass? Uh, I mean, it depends in your um lawn variety but david gray's crabgrass and clover killer has uh, an active in it which targets crabgrass crab was crabgrass wasn't it yeah yep um crabgrass crab grass, obviously in its name as well crabgrass and clover killer um if you have buffalo or kaiku it needs to be a spot spray only um do not spray on the kaiku or the buffalo but if it's cooch, it's fine as a blanket spray application. Um, ryegrass and fescue are also, I believe, okay. But you just, I just have to double check the label for that. Um, what am I doing? Random number generator. Yeah, picker, not generator. Picker. Picker. Yeah, because if you do a, like random number generator, it will just generate numbers for you. Uh, I'm just waiting for. The YouTube's ads to disappear. Here we go. Um, so last week, oh, I'm going to need to turn the sound on. <laughs> Thank you, past Clint, for <laughs> giving future Clint the yeah. last. So we, the last one was seven one three one five to seven three two eight six. Does that feel that's just yeah. under two thousand? Yeah. So what would was that it? be a week? Yeah, so seven seven three two eight six seven three two eight six. We're going to give away a scarifier. If I don't win this month, it's rigged. Nathan, we're intentionally removing your fucking stuff all the time, mate. How many uh, car air fresheners have you bought? 
man. Oh god, fuck! I say some dumb stuff. So seven three two eight six, and then you want me on Shopify, Shopify, Shopify. And we're gonna draw between that and. Yeah, that is right. I have been listening to Focus Mind music. Um, it was nice and calming. That's all we need. I try to do it with music. Um, oh, should you be on the screen? So you've got it on that screen? Well, can, can you just click the... Oh, there, so there we've we go. got... You're on the... So that's on the main screen for everyone. The last yeah. hub number 75385. Is that right? Are we doing 2,000 yeah, a week? Yeah, it's a fucking massive week, man. It was huge. The 73, that's what, 2,100 or 2,099? Yep. Crazy. Yeah. All right. Everyone see that? Imagine you were a struggling startup lawn fertilizer company and I offered to help you for only 10% equity in your business and you then took a fucking dump on me. So the tool shed, if you're still listening, that's the story. Oh, that was easy. Yeah. <laughs> Has he asked what the story is? Yeah, he asked what the story was. Ah, so. That's the story. All right, so, ready? Um, hang on, hang on, hang, hang on, hang on. Hang I think, are we good? We're happy? Yeah, I'm happy. I cool. even left a review. Sorry, Nate. So we're giving away a Greenworks 40 volt uh scarifier de thatcher it's a two-in-one i don't understand how they call it i think it's the same thing um these were uh traded old school bartering seashell situation with total tools at lonsdale and seaford who now have well had a hundred tubs of trojan and uh coming to them very soon maybe a full range of lawn hub um so we're going to give one away now we'll give another one away in a week we'll give another one away in a week after that and on the week after that which i think is around the 28th of september we're going to give away a way bang way bang <laughs> Oh, I don't mind this soundboard. I don't actually know what they are. No. It's no. just working. Just guess. All right. Um, DJ, spin that spin shit. Spin that shit. 74364. Nathan, is that one of yours? 74364. 74364. Jack P. From Walls End, New South Wales. Congratulations. You have won a. Scarifier worth six hundred dollars, I think. See you later, Thomas Nisbet Smith. Thank you for being part of the live. Have a good one. Clint is an NDIS customer and provider. That's what Sith just said. Wow. Well, it was only Are You OK Day yesterday, so we can call Clint that names now. I need a Waybang and a Cora. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. It's clever. You. Yeah. Sorry, Nate. Um. What's his name? What, Jake. Two? Yeah, it's three a seven four three six four. Yep. Um, I won't say his last name, uh, um, but it was Jake. Jack. Jack. Jack P. From Walls End, New South Wales. He purchased a golf course green pack and a David Gray's Wintergrass Killer on the eleventh of September. What well on Jack? From no, he bought it at nine twenty nine on the 9th of September. It was shipped on the eleventh of September. Ooh, that's a bit late. So uh, we'll get through some more questions before we get out of here. Uh, Clint looks like a special needs kid at day camp in that jumpsuit and hard hat. Right, Thanks, gonna, Adam. Going to go back to your, to your, your oh, my face. I should be doing that, shouldn't I? Yeah. Thanks, man. It's all right. Micromanaging my fucking... No, it's just so then I can get the, the thing back. So you can, yeah. Well, Dylan's movies are all open on there. Uh, gift cards and a jumper. What else we got? Even left a review. Got to run. I need way bang. You never know you could still win. Look, Nathan, It's the th the key thing to remember is you're still in the draw for the way bang. And for the way bang. You're also um, supporting a small family-owned business that was um, created as a revenge business. Um, and I think that supporting small businesses and revenge are two very important things. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, we have more questions on Instagram that was sent through to me from Kira. Is there a minimum time between spraying NSFW and then spraying Spartan? At least 24 hours. Jonesy likes to say 48 hours. Most mm. people will recommend 24 hours. So if you'd speak to the manufacturers, it'll be that. Um, but um, when I asked Jonesy, he said 48. Yeah, ideally. You just want to allow as much time on that leaf for NSFW to be taken up. Because Spartan needs to be watered in. So, uh, Lots of NSFW questions on the gram. How long before spraying NSFW can I mow? So that was four days. We four answered days, that before. Yeah. Is there a minimum time? We've answered that before. Any tips or tricks for the lawn novice? Been using the Lawn Care Essentials Pack. It's a good start. Great. That's honestly a great start. 
um, comes with a yeah nice easy to follow calendar. If you haven't got that calendar for whatever reason, whether um, you weren't sent one, if that's the case, um, everyone has to work for free for one hour. Um, is that what we're doing? <laughs> <now>? well, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that is not financial advice. Um, and then. If you've lost it or it broke in the transit, calendar broke. <laughs> like as in it came ripped or something. Um, you My can, piece of paper snapped. Yeah. You can go to the Lawn Care Essentials landing page. You can click the uh, orange writing and you can. it comes as a PDF. You can download it and print it or save it to your phone. Um, just follow that, honestly. I think mow regularly, no more yeah. than a third of the leaf at any time. Yep. Mow. Water as required and yep. get sunshine. Sunshine, yeah. And call maybe. A lot of people uh, when we send when they send the questions through around their lawn and we see it, it's very much it needs some core, needs some aeration. Yeah. Uh, someone posted a question before about us doing um, something with Ben Sims and I don't know where it was. Who I think it know? was um, – they said – I think it was Nathan Skaysbrook was further up. He said something about um, you. we should get you and Ben together. Interestingly, I did a podcast with Luke, Luke from – the Australian Lawn and Garden podcast. Mm-hmm. Fucking don't I minced that up. Um, no, I think that was right. And he <laughs> is pretty tight with Ben, and then Ben messaged me um, about the podcast. So I don't think it's outside the realms of possibility. Um, is Orange cold in winter? But he he didn't have snow this year, so okay. I just don't want to travel anywhere where it's going to be cold. So. Um, I'll go to do a podcast or catch mm. up if Ben's open to it. Yeah, um, bloody hell. And if I'm invited, I'll be more than happy to come. <laughs> Jonesy's like, uh, yeah, we'll go. Yeah. Oh, and, you, not me. And uh, see his green and you know what? I'll go and take some divots out of his green. <laughs> I haven't seen an update on his pond about his fish that he put in there. I wonder how his fish are going. Nathan Skaysbrook said, thanks, Clint and Adam. We really appreciate you guys. That's all right, mate. I'd core if I won the Cora. That's from Nate Extreme. Like your measuring cups, I have had two broken ones in a row. Fuck. Well, you know what? Funny story. We're changing them because we're having too many breakages now, and I don't. I never like to guarantee something, but these new cups we're getting. Oh my god, they are robust. Some Aff. of you might have received them. We bought yes. some from the manufacturer. What three thousand? Three thousand as a, a test, test. Yeah, and they packed really well. They fit in the box better. And we are always improving. Yes, and they we like fully crushed them into like a small area and then let them come back out and we were able to shape them back out to have a 100 mil cup. So, um, yeah, we are – they are – if they're not on the way, they will be on the way very shortly and we'll deplete the current ones we have and then introduce the new ones. So hopefully moving forward, as Clint said, we like to change and fix things. So that's one of them. Adam said, Jesus, the audio is a bit in and out. I don't know why. Um, hmm. um, Not sure. I don't in know. terms of level of noise or? Well, I don't know. But um, then Bearded Sith said, audio sounds accurate to the visuals. So <laughs> thanks, mate. Um, special needs, says Adam. Yes. Look, yeah. I, I don't know. We're just fucking trying our best here. Um, I just realised we had our... Sticker machine was meant to del- get delivered today, and I still haven't. You haven't heard anything today? No, nah, no one's called me. All right. Um. Well, I'm going there after this, so that'd be so funny. He's <laughs> just sitting out in the car park. Fucking hell! It says you sound like you're underwater. Maybe it's too loud here. No, that's not where it is. Is that my mic? I've got no idea. Yeah. Um. No. I don't know, man. Don't know what to tell you. Probably a shit podcast. Um, <laughs> you sound like you're underwater. I think we actually have that as a button. Um, oh, God. This could be. Oh, no. And then there's this, there's this, this one, which is different. And then there's this one, which is different. And then there's this one, which is different. And then whatever this is, large robot. This is small. Ro- Maybe I b- us underwater. <laughs> Dingling? What's that? Oh, did I just cancel the podcast? <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Oh shit. Uh whoops. How do I get rid of that? Oh, here we go. I got a message from the boss. Ducking. Yeah, audio no good. Like clear, then like when it's windy. Oh fuck up. That's out of our pay grade. Who's that from, Dill? Angel. Thanks. Thanks, darling. <laughs> we'll just fucking go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well we'll just finish the podcast because obviously hang on, you did something that worked. 
Okay. The what audio from the mic sounds like the internet is struggling. Ah, oh, okay. Mm. I wonder if it's got the fact that I've got two mics next to each other. All right. Well, we probably should just end it anyway. Audio sounds underwater. Yeah, much better. I don't know what I did. I fixed mm. something. Um, hey, check out a podcast called Scuffed Realtor. Hilarious and good info, guys, and ex-landscaper. Okay. Uh, Clint would like to be under the sea in a special needs garden in the shade. <laughs> I think that's meant to be. Clint would like to be under the sea mm. in a special needs garden <laughs> in the shade. I definitely wouldn't be in the shade. That's clever. Yep, well, that's what happens when you start drinking at lunchtime and your mum was drinking when she was pregnant. Mm. Okay. Yeah, because that's not allowed these days, eh? I think it's a bit well, of an overreaction. Actually, it just says it's not recommended. It doesn't say it's not allowed. Yeah. Uh, a couple of questions. Shanev's asked, uh, have you considered offering mini pill or tiny Trojan in a 10 kilo bucket? We don't really think about it. Um, it just gets complicated. We might. We're growing all the time. The, so. the, and I suppose the trouble is, and again, we're the most, uh, you know, transparent lawn fertilizer to consumer company that there possibly is it would all come down to timing as well so we know that trojan is our number one selling product so that then means that we need to spend more time on the hopper making trojan so if we were to say pull away from making trojan to make something else then we fall behind in trojan and then people because 99 percent of the orders that go out really they have trojan so it is a time we had a second or third possibly even fourth machine in the in the future well we're buying a machine that can do eight times the volume correct we might just find that that um we might just find oh that so maybe that is a bit tinny mm. i had a feeling that it was this mic that was because this mic was there as well but oh yeah um is that louder for you that's much louder for me is that too loud for you yeah all right is it, is it in yet whoa <laughs> what is that fuck nice Okay, I think we've had enough of the podcast. So one more question. How soon after applying Spartan, a celebrant and wet, is it safe for pets? Uh, once you've watered in and then that area has become dry, go for it. And that's that's the go with most products, to be honest. Um, unless there's a specific um, withholding or specific re-entry period um, associated with that product, you'll find that yeah, majority of them, are, once it's been applied and then become dry, it's safe to enter. I just lost. I just heard what they're talking about. Then mm. they said it might be the mic. Anyway, Dylan will fix it up next time. Yeah. Um, Cameron just said this man needs some milk. Needs some milk. I do need some milk. I need some Bailey's and milk. No, okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> Dylan would usually be like, I, "What the? Now, now it's oh, that's pitch up." <laughs> <laughs> but it's only for you. I don't know what to tell you. Fuck, nice. Um, this one's like, I like to use this one when we do the um, ring pick one. So we're not going to release this until we get this. No, okay. Um, if there's no more questions, we will call it um, a day. Where was the Instagram? I'll just quickly check over here. We had Instagram. Over. Oh, what's that? What is that? I've got a screen <laughs> on my screen. I don't know if you'll be able to see this if I turn it around. <laughs> you can kind of see it. There? It's like all these buttons that adjust things. Maybe that's got something to do with it. Maybe the cables have come out. I don't know what to tell you. Um, all I was trying to do was find Instagram so that I could see if there's any more questions, but that's probably not going to happen. Was there another one? Oh, that's right. Dylan used – what's this software? This is Bill Gates's shitty – is it Bing? What is it? No idea. It's still called Jonesy is back as well. Uh, is it? <laughs> yeah. What's the uh, max depth for a top dress on Sir Walter planning a Renault soon but have a ring load of low spots? Just make sure there's still some green material coming out the top for Buffalo. Cooch, Kaku, you can go as deep as you want. It'll come back. Uh, this person, I think we were talking about, you know, we were talking about the person that bought the wood lathe. Yes. He said he was buying it to do refurbs on rollers on Scotty's. All right. Yeah, I, I don't remember that. I'm sorry. Hey, man, head's going crazy in my yard. What can I do? Should I do a Renault, spelled R-E-N-A-U-L-T, 
this weekend. Um, I don't understand. Heads going crazy as in like seed heads or that's from CQ Lawney. Uh, Daniel Pittman put a root in a bucket. <laughs> Recommend your gear to a bloke. Yeah, we've done that. Okay, so we got through all of that. I think we're done uh, from the window to the wall, Adam. You know nice. the rest of that song? Yeah, sweat yep. dropped down my uh, balls. Whoa, Jesus. Um, that's an oh. exchange banger. Shout out to all of the Port Power fans uh, who are going to uh, yes. the football this afternoon. <laughs> I wish you all the best. Um, I, it's, it's a tough one because obviously I'm an Adelaide Crow supporter and we're terrible this year, we have been for the last few. But, you know, one side of the scale, you know, for the safety of mankind in Adelaide tonight, you hope that they win because otherwise there's going to be riots in the street. But on the other hand, it's telling me that statistically based on past experiences and finals history series, there's no real way that they really come back from I'm going to put some money on Port Power. Well, that were 2.30 last night. Me and John were looking. Not enough odds for me. I want 33 to 1. So um, my bet will be like Port Power to win and what's it? Is it Charlie Dixon? Is he playing? Oh, th- well, <laughs> for Hawthorne's sake, they probably hope so. But I, I could not imagine Charlie Dixon. I haven't seen the team. Ken said that they were going to release it tonight or this afternoon. But the performance that he's put up last week in a uh, – uh, it's tough. I don't see him playing for Port Adelaide. So where what I was going to say, yeah, he he's listed on sports bet. So okay, my thing was like Port to win and then Charlie Dixon to kick four plus goals, right? You'd probably get more than thirty three on. Well, that. that's sixteen to one just for the goals, and then two dollars. You'd probably get thirty to one or similar. That's the kind of bet I like, mm. right? But then sports bet will tell you you can't do it. So. Well, they've done that a few times before. <laughs> Um, yeah, I had one last week with Brisbane. It just makes watching football actually interesting because it's such a shit sport. Uh, Toolshed just said, we were talking irrigation, day 14, ha, ha, ha. So he's got one more business day till I have to respond. <laughs> what was that long one? That said, my lawn hub hoodie yesterday, bloody mint, my missus went oh, okay. in public. We took, covered that off. I was just yeah. trying to scan through. I hate if we miss stuff, but... Um, I think it's probably a good idea if we go. Cameron Yarnold says, if you follow a lawn plan that it comes with, you will get great results. And Bearded Sith, Bearded Sith says, crows win, otherwise all those hipster bush piercing fuckers in Melbourne riot. Jesus. Go the Lions. All right. Um, thank you very much for tuning into this um, very random uh, episode 33 of Lawns, Lawns, Lawnsdale. <laughs> Lawn Hub wow. Live Late. That'd be a good After one. lunch. We should do Lawn Hub Live Late and just... Like Big Brother up late. Yeah. It used to be good when they'd get it on fucking... Man, yeah, like see some sneaky sneaky, but yeah, now it's but all fucking... Yeah. yeah. Anyway. Um, so I think I meant to press... Not that one. Um, not that Smashing one. my ears. <laughs> not that one. Not that, not that one. That one. No, that's not that's, that's thinking. The game that we How do you leave? Play. Oh, someone asked if we're going to do Rate My Lawn again. We certainly can. Yeah, we will not can. Use positive language, mate. <laughs> I said we certainly can. We will. Oh, oh so sorry. I'll put you back on the screen. Yeah, he was killing my ears with a fucking sound anyway. I can turn you down. It's really easy to just turn it down here. Yeah, That thank doesn't you. hurt you so much. Um, remember Big Brother up late. Oh, we end up going, I hope Port lose. That's horrible, man. Um later lawn hub all right so i'm going to press the button that plays the music out i'm going to change the screen to number three brenton ellis's amazing lawn i'm going mm-hmm. to play some music and we will see you next, next week, week.